Hey guys, it's Will from The Game Lounge here. Thanks to everybody who watched the Odin 2 review. One thing that came up though, were a lot of people were asking me how you got the bezel effect, the overlays for each of the individual consoles. So I thought I'd make a very quick video just explaining exactly how I did this. Uh, it's a bit of a long process initially, but the great thing about this method is you can then just copy and paste it to multiple systems and setups. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off on a Windows PC. And the first thing we need to do is actually find some uh, overlays or bezels. Now, I found a really good repository, which is Batacera Bezels. So if we Google Batacera Bezels GitHub, this will give you their entire selection of bezels. Obviously, Batacera is a lightweight Linux OS, um, but, but everything is open source. So you're free to use these. Um, if you do have any other repositories or no of a good uh, bezel website, please let me know. But as you can see from here, you can click through and there's different types you can do. You can do curved bezels, default bezels, vertical, arcade bezels, all the systems are here. This is a Dreamcast one. And I think these look really, really smart. Let's just take a look at a couple more. So here we go. We've got the Nintendo 64. Again, I think this is a really good look rather than having the simple black bars. And obviously this is for the Odin 2 setup, but this scales across any system if you want to set up your retro arch. SNES here as well. I think these look really, really great. But what we're going to do is you can go to each of these, you can browse, and if you like them, you can hit download. You can see here, I've downloaded the SNES version, and that will go into your downloads folder. Next step, when you've found all of the different bezels that you like for all of your systems, they should now be in your downloads folder. And what we're gonna do is we're going to locate our RetroArch uh, bezel location. So you can see here, I've got it just installed straight on the C drive, RetroArch, overlays, and then borders. And you'll see a number of actually pre-configured uh, files in here. And this is great because we're gonna use these as a template. So if you take your file here, the files that you've downloaded, uh, and simply click and drag the files that you've downloaded in your downloads folder over to the borders folder within RetroArch. Now, this is just step one. We then have to have effectively a config file and that's going to point at this image. So you can see here if I open up one of the predefined config files you'll see in here you've got these are all the same uh, you just need to make sure that overlay zero underscore overlay equals the name of the image that you've downloaded and obviously rename the config file to be the relevant system because that's what you're going to select within RetroArch. And you need to repeat this for every single system that you have. So this is why I say this is the laborious part. This is the initial part where you're going out, finding the bezels that you like and creating the relevant config folders within the RetroArch borders folder. Now, once you've done this, um, you are going to insert your SD card into your PC. I just use one of the integral uh, micro SD to USB. Um, sticks, uh, many, many laptops will have SD card readers within them. But once you've inserted it, what you're going to do is, for me, I just put it in the same folder as my games folder within the OS. So you'll see in here, I've created a games folder in the Android and I've called it bezels. And you're gonna just take all the files that you've downloaded, all the config files that you've created and just move it across into that bezels folder. Like you say, once you've got this folder, this folder can then be moved anywhere that you need. So let's move over to the Odin 2 and then let's start up RetroArch. I've loaded up the Nintendo SNES game Donkey Kong Country. As you can see here, this is completely default settings using the B-SNES core, uh, and it looks absolutely fine, but we're gonna now make this just look, I think, a lot better. So if you go into your menu with whatever shortcut key you have to access the menu, uh, and initially what we're going to do is we're gonna come down 
select display overlay and switch that on now generally on android this will be a controller overlay so we're going to go all the way back again to the root of our sd card we're going to find our games and we're going to look at the bezels folder now from here you can see we can select our config file so we're going to select the snes config file and that will then add our overlay on the top select hide overlay and menu switch that off and this is what it's going to look like but you'll see initially this looks completely wrong the screen does not fit so we need to now ensure that we have the right aspect ratio so that our image now fits the bezel so to do that initially what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back to the main menu the root directory and from here we're going to select settings video scaling and then we're going to come down to integer scale and we're going to switch that off then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the aspect ratio and from here we're going to choose custom and this will allow us then to set our custom x and y aspect ratios now what you can do here is quite literally you can move the start x position and y position so the x position as you can see here will move the camera to the beginning so this is all shifting it to the right so hold down right until it reaches the start now this brings me to my next point make sure when you do pause the game you have a nice bright preferably light background that way you can see the difference between the black and the white and actually where the screen border is we're going to do the same with the y position so when we scroll this down we'll just bring this down ever so slightly you can see there's just that thin bezel at the top creating that curved image so we're just going to move that down slightly now you notice that the image is still far too big so now we have to change once we've done this the width and the height so again, we're just going to come into here and we're going to just move that to the left until it's the right size that we need and then change the height. So we're going to just bring this up very, very slightly so that the image fits within the bezel. And that's it. That's actually all you need to do to initially set this up. Now, Let's just make things look a little bit better. We'll just take a little more time. So what I like to do initially is save your overrides. Now, be careful here. You can save a core override. If you're doing something like a Mega Drive or Mega CD, given that they they use the same core, the Genesis GX core, you can save content directory overrides. But let's just add a few additional features here. So I like to add uh, Blog's Composite Filter, which I just think looks really, really good. You can add the RGB, which I think is the best in terms of making the system look just like a classic SNES. On top of that, what we can do is we can jump back into the menus here, go to shaders, and the shader that I think looks the most like the CRT, if we come into the slang shaders here and we can select the CRT shader and scroll all the way down, we'll find the CRT Royale shader, which I think is the best looking to really create that look uh, with the fake bloom effect and with blogs, RGB filter as well. I think this really then gives you a really smart excellent looking shader effect obviously make sure that we come down we save those overrides again to save all of the settings and everything that we've configured and when we resume here i think this gives us a really crisp snes like image with a really professional looking bezel really great custom system um I hope you enjoyed this video, something slightly different for me. Hopefully some people find it useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if this has been good, if uh, my delivery has been useful or confusing, uh, if you want to hear more of these um, for various features, etc. I'm always happy to help. Have a great day.